The claims are that this place is demonic. It's not that it's haunted, it's that it's demonic. They believe it's trying to trick you into thinking it's Sally. Did someone just run into the basement? Do you hear that footstep? <gasps> Dude, so what's going on? You can't open it. Dude, I don't get what's going on. Dude, the door just opened. Look. Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Yeah. What? Oh my god. What? This is the most insane night we've ever had, dude. What is up everybody? Welcome back to Project Fear. We are about to get on the road, leaving Velisca Axe Murder House. If you have not seen that video, go back, watch it. It was a wild, wild night. But now we are on the last house. My pick of the haunted house road trip. I'm taking them to the Sally house. It has a very tragic past, a very dark history, and an evil, demonic presence that haunts the entire house. Yes, demonic. I'm telling you that right off the rip. There is a pentagram stain from rituals in the basement that is said to haunt the entire house. And now we are off to Kansas. Yes, the no place like home state, the state where Sam and Colby came from, and the state where Taylor Swift's boyfriend plays football. Yes, all fun facts to know. Okay, pausing really quick. I know that Kansas City is actually Missouri, it's not in Kansas. We're in Kansas. Kansas City Chiefs play in Missouri, not Kansas, even though they're called Kansas City Chiefs. Nothing makes sense anymore. Yeah. Get it or just don't. We don't care. Yes, let's hit the road then. How's everyone feeling? Feeling drop dead gorgeous. Fit check. Lavender and red, that's sick. You guys are looking really good. Actually. What is your fear gear? I'm not wearing fear gear. Oh, no. that's cool. You don't support the brand? You don't support the movement? Nope. They're jealous. They're really jealous. They don't have this. We are literally in the middle of cornfields for days. What is this? We are on our way to Kansas right now. Kansas? Yes, we are going to Kansas. We are going to one of the most haunted houses in the entire world, actually. In Kansas? In Kansas, so. That can't be true. No, it's true. It's one of those places that uh, kind of flies under the radar, but once you find out what it is, you guys are gonna know exactly why I brought you guys there. I don't think I've ever spent too much time in Kansas, just a little bit. Just yeah. But I'm just saying, guys, get ready. This one's, <laughs> this one's dark. This one's gonna be intense. There's a stain in the basement because of rituals. Is it rituals? Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap. And we're gonna try to recreate one? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's our fourth house now, and none of them have had satanic, like, evil rituals. They've all had darkness, heaviness, but nothing like that. The wild thing about this one is anything can happen at any moment. Like, it could go from just being a normal, regular house, and you don't feel anything, and then all of a sudden, it could turn into one of the darkest places we've ever been. I feel like we've dealt with too much darkness on this road trip, but it makes sense that all these hauntings are, like, evil demon. Well, also, I gotta be honest, I'm not gonna be picking a location where it's Casper the Friendly Ghost and it's perfectly fine and we're gonna have a good night's sleep. And you got the last choice, so this is the final stop of the trip. It, it can't be some minimal thing, especially yeah. coming off of the Velisca house. I have a feeling we're screwed tonight. tonight. Or tomorrow night, right? Oh God. Yeah, tomorrow night. We're, tomorrow. We're, we're just gonna be reading the packet tonight. This has been a very, very long road trip. We're all at a point where we're sleep deprived and we're at the final leg of the stop. This might be one of those locations where we need to go to like Bible camp for like a month after this. We made it. We, we did it. Let's go check this place out. All right, everyone, it is time to find out where I am gonna be taking you guys for my location. The haunted house uh. tour ends here. We got a lot of information in this packet. I know some of you guys, all you guys are gonna know this place, but I don't know if you guys know the entire story. Let's just jump right into it, to be honest with you. You know it's gonna be bad when it's the final stop. Chelsea? Chelsea. I guess oh. I will do it. I actually am very curious where you're taking us. All right. All right, here we go. No. Oh, the dude. Sally house. 
thought that was in Missouri. Nope. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Get ready, boys and girls. We are about to go to the Sally house. Despite being located in a quiet and unsuspecting neighborhood in small town Kansas, this location has the reputation for being one of the most haunted houses in all of North America. Once inside the home's threshold, the hairs on the back of your neck stand up and you can't help but feel an uneasiness all the way to your core. Several generations would go on to live and die in this home, four documented deaths to be exact, but it is actually another death, an unfortunate and untimely loss that is at the root of this home's sinister reputation. Mm -hmm. The house gets its nickname from a story that many have tried to prove but cannot confirm with 100% certainty due to the lack of reliable historical records. The story goes that the man who built the house was named Charles Finney. He was a doctor who converted a section of the home into his office and medical practice. The front of the house on the main floor served as the examination and operation room for his patients while he and his family lived upstairs on the second floor. Interesting. So it was originally built as a medical practice where a doctor actually lived yep. upstairs. Wow, I mean that already could explain it a little bit. We've been to how many hospitals that are so incredibly haunted. Mm -hmm. One day, around 1905, a distraught mother burst through the front door carrying her young, limp daughter, Sally. The mother claimed she had collapsed due to severe abdominal pain. Dr. Finney diagnosed Sally with acute appendicitis and decided that an immediate appendectomy was in order. Dr. Finney concluded that in order to prevent her appendix from rupturing and ultimately taking her life, he had to perform the surgery on the spot. So she had appendicitis. Appendicitis, so the mother thought something was wrong with Sally, rushed to this house where she knew a doctor was. He immediately said, we need to go to the operating table. What is that, appendicitis? So appendicitis is like the inflammation of an appendix, but if it actually ruptures, it can kill you. Oh gosh. But based on how this sounds, this doesn't sound like this was like supposed to be operated as a surgical center. This was a desperate situation. This is like going to your primary care doctor yep. and getting a surgery. surgery. Exactly, it's just like going to a pediatrician and then all of a sudden they're just like, uh, well, we have to do something now, otherwise she's dead. He laid vulnerable little Sally on the table and gave her a small dose of anesthesia that would have been available at that time. Tragically, Sally was not completely unconscious before the doctor began surgery. And as a result, she began to scream and thrash in pain when the doctor made his first incision. Oh, God. God. Sally's unexpected and sudden movements caused the doctor to make a much deeper cut, causing Sally to lose a large amount of blood. Um, she bled out. Mm -hmm. Oh God, dude, this is horrible. Despite his efforts to calm and comfort Sally, it soon became apparent when her screaming stopped and she became pale and motionless that the innocent and unsuspecting six-year-old girl was in fact dead. Like imagine the mother in that situation. One hour ago, your daughter was alive and well. And you decided to bring her to this doctor for help to save your daughter's life or try to figure out what's going on and the Finney family eventually sold the home in 1939. From that time on, the home changed hands several times, being transferred from family to family with no record of further tragedy or known paranormal activity. That is, until 1992, when Tony and Deborah Pickman rented the home. Once the couple moved in, paranormal activity slowly began to permeate the house. They both felt that something was off with the house, but couldn't quite quantify the feeling. The activity first appeared in their newborn baby's room. Their son, Taylor's stuffed animals would be moved around the room and sometimes even moved to other rooms around the house. Strangely, they would always be found placed in a circular formation on the floor. The couple was skeptical at first about the occurrences because Tony's brother, who visited quite often, was known to be a prankster. When Tony confronted him about the oddly placed stuffed animals, he had no idea what Tony was referring to. In the middle of the confrontation, they both stood bewildered as they witnessed the stuffed animals slide across the floor and form a circle 
right in front of their eyes. Dude. Yeah. So there are legitimate poltergeist activity stuff that happens at this house. Like they're sitting there like, you did this. No, no, I didn't do it. And then all of a sudden, it's like out of a movie. Yeah. yeah. It's freaking terrifying. Yeah. Like something in there wanted to be like, no, I'm doing it. Yep. There's just so much time that like elapsed between Sally and this doctor's office and, and this current Pikmin family. Like something happened in between that time. Mm, something did. It was then that they knew they were dealing with a poltergeist, and that's when the activity really started to ramp up. Lights would flicker on and off, and strange knocks would be heard throughout the house at night. The Pikmins were concerned at this point and did not know where to turn, so they contacted several psychics and paranormal groups for answers. They eventually got in contact with psychic Peter James. After his initial walkthrough of the home, he concluded that the house was haunted by the spirit of a little girl. He also felt very strongly that there was another, much darker, and evil spirit attached to the house. Dude, that's the thing about this whole road trip. Even the Conjuring House, and like the Hinsdale might have been the darkest so far, but even then it was like, this could be Native Americans, whatever. This is like pure demons, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm glad we saved this for last. I almost like don't want to know. Like I'm at the point now where I'm like, okay, I get it. It's really creepy. It's really haunted. There's something sinister going on, but I'm kind of cool not knowing the rest. <laughs> like I'm, I'm a little mm. freaked out right now. Peter James concluded that the spirit of the little girl was Sally and that the much darker spirit could be her grieving or angry mother. He suggested offering the little girl a toy in the hopes that being accepted by the Pikmins would calm the restless spirits down and perhaps allow them to move on. This did not work. The activity soon turned into actual attacks on the family, with Tony, who would develop large scratches across his entire body as the main target. It was around this time that he began experiencing horrifically vivid nightmares that his home was on fire and that a creature was trying to take their son. The activity peaked when small fires would break out inside of the house almost weekly, and Tony's oppressive thoughts of harming his family became more and more prevalent. Once those thoughts started to creep into his head, he decided that he and his family needed to move out of the house. They left, deciding never to reside there again. Weekly fires in the house? Like that does not just happen. No. I mean, the fact that he was having nightmares about this over and over again, and then all of a sudden, it started actually happening in his house. The activity did not stop with them leaving. The owner of the house who had been renting to the Pikmins became intrigued with their experiences and decided to do a little digging and investigating into what might have been the source of their attacks. He soon discovered a pentagram underneath the original floorboards in the basement. No one knows when or why that pentagram was placed there or what kind of rituals took place using it, but they attribute the dark presence in the house to something demonic that was lured there. So like, unlike all the other houses we've been going to where it's speculative, is this demonic, is this not? Like we're going somewhere where we know this is demonic. The claims are that this place is demonic. It's not that it's haunted, it's that it's demonic. That's probably why so many people warn us about this place. Like everywhere we go, people tell us about this house. Tell us if you do ever go, be so careful. Mm. What if they tell us about this then? That's so annoying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you guys should totally check out this demon place. Yeah. But be careful though. After the discovery in the basement, more investigations were conducted in the house, both physical and paranormal. On one occasion, they conducted a luminol test and found that the closet in the master bedroom was covered in blood spatter. There was also a bloody sweater found in the attic. Like the blood spatter in the closet, you could maybe attribute to the doctor. Right? No, that's no, not how that works. Not. No, there should not be blood spatters in a closet. So obviously these owners like really speculated something was happening if they went to that level of like looking for that stuff. Mm -hmm. Could the stories of Sally be true? Could she, her mother, or maybe the both of them be seeking revenge on the doctor who botched her surgery and ultimately killed her by attacking the men who entered the home? Or could the evil inside this house be due to the satanic rituals and this entity is disguising itself as a little girl to lure people into its grasp? Haunted accounts. To this day, many people have experienced violent attacks similar to those experienced by Tony. There have been reports of people being scratched, pushed, 
and burned, with one person claiming that they were actually choked into unconsciousness. Like someone actually like passed out? Yeah, from having a feeling of being like absolutely choked out, they passed out. Images of a little girl, shadowy figures, and mists forming are often captured throughout the property. Passerbys have even noticed figures standing in the windows when they know that no one else is in the house. Investigators have captured chilling EVP recordings, the most notable being a reply to the question, is God real? Which was answered with the response, no help here. This is bad. This is really this is, bad. This is a really, really bad one, guys. Like, we don't like dealing with demons. If, if you followed our show on TV even, like, you know we try to avoid this stuff, but when you're going to haunted houses, it's kind of unavoidable, it yeah. seems. Yeah. Others have seen the actual embodiment of the spirit of Sally and have heard her voice in the house asking them to come play with me. Many believe that the dark entity in this house will attack and attach itself to the weakest member of the group. Oh no! <laughs> Not my sister! You just did! <laughs> that sucks, man! Oh! You're gonna be targeted, bro! <laughs> sis, sis! I have a feeling I'm gonna be the weekend. <laughs> she was in the military. <laughs> She's been to space, guys. Like. Honestly, like 10% of people are gonna believe all of those things. <laughs> yeah. oh, Honestly, all jokes aside, it's it's a toss-up. Who's the weakest? It's, it's, yeah, it's it's aside, it really like, is. Like at least <laughs> mentally right now, like we are all very fatigued and drained. Yeah. So there's no weak link in this group. We're all at a low. It's all horrible links. We are all... one chain of yeah. bunch of weak links. It's a rusty <laughs> eroded chain. The most active areas include the entire house. There are paranormal claims that have happened in every square inch of this house. There is no escaping from the evil that flows through every nook and cranny of this home. However, there are some areas that seem to be especially active. The basement. This is where the pentagram was found. Rumor has it that many people have tried to cover the symbol up and that it would keep reforming. Currently, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> they like try to cover it up, like how? Like clean yeah, it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like scrubbing it, cleaning it up, trying to get rid of it, and it just did not work. <laughs> Dude, that's not good at all. No, it's not good. Currently, all that remains is a stain on the ground where it once was. Kind of worked, I guess, but it's still a stain. The door to the basement is also known to open and slam shut on its own. Sally's room, located on the second floor. This is the room where many people say they see or feel Sally's presence, even though she never actually lived in this house. Toys and objects have been caught on camera moving on their own. Investigators have received many chilling responses through digital recorders and also the spirit box in this room. The living room. Located next to the front door, the living room is a host to a multitude of strange occurrences. Investigators have felt a strong force keeping them from entering the front door and into the room. They describe it as if someone were aggressively pressing on both sides of their head. Radios and televisions situated in this area of the home have been known to turn off and on by themselves. All right, if that happens, that's like always the freakiest thing in a scary movie is like when the radios just turn on or TV turns on. What's so creepy is like me and Chelsea in our house growing up, the haunted house, that was one of the main things that we experienced. Like we had a moment where all of the TVs in the house turned on at once. Chelsea had the radio like turn on in your room. It's not like our family knew anything about hauntings and stuff. So like to read that is very weird because a lot of our stuff at our house was, did have to do with like technology. You know, it's creepy too. So we used to set up cameras in our house Mm -hmm. Me and Tanner especially would review them the next day and there was a moment where we heard this loud picture frame crashing And we were like, what was that? It was behind camera So we go downstairs and find out that the picture of it says God protect this house It had fallen over. That was the picture we Yeah, yeah, like that reminds me too of that. Yeah. This is yeah. very similar I think for our next fear club podcast We should talk more in depth about the house that we grew up yeah. in our story 
stories. When you go to prisons and asylums, you cannot relate, but this is so relatable. It actually like freaks me out. Definitely hits home, like actually hits home. And also we can sympathize with everyone who's lived in these homes because of everything we've experienced. So that might be the next Fear Club podcast. F-E-A-R-Club.com. Well, nice job sufficiently scaring us, Tana. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to bed. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's the Sally house. That's where we're gonna be hanging out tomorrow. But on a real note, this is not a location to like mess around it. There are claims of demonic stuff. There's claims of being physically hurt, attachments, poltergeist stuff. Like this is going to be a place that we are gonna have to have each other's backs. We are gonna have to be on our toes. Yeah, like seriously, be vocal too. Like yes. if you're feeling something, like let's just get out. Like it's not worth it. Ready to go to the Sally House. Let's do it. Let's pack this car up. All right. All right. Off to Sally. Oh man. We have to be so careful when we leave and go home. Like we really have messed with so much dark, twisted stuff on this road trip, and this is just the cherry on top. It's scary dabbling with this stuff. Not super excited about it. Usually I'm like excited about going into locations. I'm just a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. Like all the stories we've heard, like this place can jump out of nowhere. Like you could be in this building for hours and have not a whole lot of stuff happen. And then snap of your fingers, it could get really, really dark really fast. Two minutes away. Oh no. It's, I'm actually like extremely anxious about this one. It, it feels like this is the perfect last stop to this trip. We're gonna be dealing with the darkest haunt by far. And there it is. Oh, is it that one? Yeah, with the, the porch light. light. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're here. Oh my God, dude. Holy All crap. Right. Here we go. This is it. Welcome to the Sally house. Oh. <laughs> this right? Is it. This is it. One of the most haunted houses in America. All right, so we just got into the Sally house. We set up a gear room, and now we're just gonna start exploring the whole entire place. We're gonna start from the top and then work our way down. And the game plan is to take some time in each and every room. So yeah. It's rock and roll. Let's do it. We don't know flashlights too. Are we which ready? Is wild. Yeah, no flashlights. No, no flashlights, flashlights, no nothing. We're, are you both? In Chelsea, yeah. you have a flashlight, don't you? No, I don't. So we're gonna attempt no flashlights tonight. So this is uh, what you see, which looks very bright. You can see Chelsea, and then when I turn off IR, yeah, we're in the pitch dark right now, and it's not gonna be good. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's actually wild. I think we go straight into Sally's room, just right off the rim. Okay. Yeah, let's try it. Oh man. That's Sally's room? Right in here, there's all the toys. Which I think is so odd because Sally never even lived here and there's like a room for her. Like this isn't truly Sally's room, she never lived here. But people say that her ghost is here, that they see or feel her presence in this room. And, this and they the room where she got her surgery then? Uh, that was in the uh, in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah, this this top floor was made for where the doctor was actually living. Yeah. I don't know what room it is, but one of these rooms up here, they found a bunch of blood spatter everywhere. That's the basement. Right? That is actually across the hall into that main room. Oh gosh. Wait, that's weird. I for oh. some. Hmm. Do you hear that footstep? Oh, <gasps> dude, something was going on. Wait, what? That was like the yeah, REM pod, right? I heard a REM pod. There's a footstep in a REM pod. We don't even have a REM pod on. What? Wait, they're not. No, I, we turned oh, them all off. off. We, have, we have no No, 100% heard the REM pod. Yo, yo, come on. Dude, I heard the REM pod. I heard the REM pod too. Dude, I heard it. All the gears on the table, but none of it's on. What the hell? What is happening already? I told you, there's nothing on. Nothing is on. Nothing. Quad's not off. Nothing, nothing is on. It actually sounded exactly like the REM pod, like to a T, same frequency. Hmm? Do you hear that footstep? <gasps> no! Dude! Do you hear that footstep? <gasps> no! We didn't get this on camera. Like we, we brought our gear inside. We turned on all the REM pods and put new batteries in them and like we're testing them. And then we turn everything off. So like, 
it, like maybe something in here heard that. And repeated the noise. Are we yeah. getting another mimic situation here? That's what it sounds like. Dude. And I mean, here's the basement right here, just wide God. open. When we were up there, I just had asked you like, is this, this is where she got her surgery, right? And you're like, no, that was the kitchen. Yeah. And this is the kitchen where all of our gear is. There's even this memoriam for her. Oh. How are we hearing gear that's not even turned on? I swear it sounded exactly like this. That's exactly what I heard. I almost want to hear that upstairs. Like, I want to hear sure, it. Sure, sure, sure. Someone come up with me, though, because I'm definitely not going up there. Just yell down when you want to hear it. What the hell, dude? I don't know. That's so strange. Okay, you guys, set it off. All right, we're upstairs. Ready? Yeah. That's exactly yeah. it. Oh. Dude, okay, I'm gonna go back downstairs. What the heck? Do you hear that footstep? Oh, <gasps> dude, that's the sound. That is exactly the same. I hope we caught it on camera. That's so weird. Oh. What? Okay. We just got here, and we're we're hearing a quit like phantom equipment. I don't get it. I don't get it. Do you want to leave a camera in here? I honestly feel like we have to. Or like leave it on this main floor here. Yeah. Let's put a REM pod and a camera on oh on this floor. Goodness. All right. So the REM pod emits electromagnetic frequencies and if anything comes close to it, it should beep. And then the other thing the REM pod does is it picks up temperature fluctuations. So there's only one REM pod on and this camera here will be recording this REM pod while we go upstairs. Okay. Sally's room. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, what was that? Hello? Dude, the door just opened. What? Dude. The, <laughs> just the door just opened. Look. Open it. Dude, open that door. Yo, what the hell? Is there anyone out What's here? Happening? No, there's no one out here. There's no one out here. No one in the backyard. Dude, that was loud. That was like pushed open. There's Dude. no wind out here, by the way. Look at these trees. There is no wind. It's just calm. We're back. Okay. We're going back into Sally's room. Yo, what the f Yo, what was that? Sally's room. Yo, what the f Yo, what was that? Someone would have had to like creak it open and just you book. You can't open this, look. I have the code to get back in, like just- Wait, it's a code? Yeah, it's a code. Like right here, it's a code. You have to put a code in, right? Yes. You can't open it. Dude, I don't get what's going on. Guys, it's the second we walk into this room, on Sally's room, something happens now twice. Dude. All right, I'm double checking that I shut the door and lock it this time. I know I did the first time, but just on camera. Okay. That is completely shut now. Yep. Okay. Okay. Third uh, time's a charm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sally's room for the third time. <sighs> okay. Okay. We're finally in Sally's room. Again, this is just a room dedicated to her. She never lived here, but there's a lot of activity that happens in this room. Sally, are you up here? Or is there anyone in this room right now with us? Do you wanna make a noise, move one of these toys? What the fuck? I just stepped on a toy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, that's scary. That's terrifying. Okay. If there's anyone in here, there's some toys on this bed. There's a couple balls sitting here on the nightstand. Could you knock one of those balls off that table? Can you show off some of your favorite toys that are in here?
Run pods going off. What? Uh -oh. what? Downstairs, I hear. Wait, stop. Do you hear it? Stop. I don't know. At least we have a camera on it. I think it, if I heard it, it was definitely the temperature, not the REM. Dude, it's weird. It's like every time we go in this room, it's trying to pull us out of it. Sally, do you want to come in here and play a game? We brought a toy with us if you want to use it. Makes music, makes songs. I'm going to set it right here on the ground. Just come step in front of this device. It'll pick up your motion. All right, Sally, we just put a music box in your room. Um, if you want to go up to it, it'll start playing the song. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to do anything. It's just a fun toy for you. Oh, wait. What wait. the heck? Can you do that again, please? A lot of people don't believe that Sally even is the spirit of a little girl, but instead it's something darker. If you are the real Sally and you are a little girl, can you go into your room and make that music box go off? How's everyone feeling like physically? I was just thinking about that. Cause I have like a minor headache. Dude, I do too. Yeah, like I can't tell if this is just pure tiredness, exhaustion, but like my, my whole head is kind of throbbing a little bit. Really? Yeah. Okay. Earlier in the night we were talking about the room that had the like bloody closet. Mm -hmm. Which room was that? It's right in there. Let's check it out. Oh, that's creepy. Closet has a bunch of stuffed animals in a circle. Did you say there was a circle of toys in there? Yeah, yeah dude, look wrong. at it. Jeez, dude. That's one of the creepier stories too, is when that family was living here. They would randomly find the children's toys in a circle like that. See, even to the point where, like, they were thinking that it's the uncle, like, messing with them. Mm -hmm. And he's just like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Come to find out, they're having an argument about it. And they watched the toys move. Oh! What? That's the REM pod. REM pod. That's the REM pod. Stopped. Right as I look over the edge. Yeah. Can you come upstairs? That was definitely the temperature changing. Every time we walk into a new room. Right. Can you knock on something? Make a noise? I almost want to get some sort of device that like says words so we can ask questions. Do you want to do that on this floor or go down to like the living room? Yeah, let's go down to the living room. We should leave a camera up here, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Might as well just grab the camera from the kitchen since we'll be down there. Yeah. And we yeah. can just bring it up here. True. Deal. I don't know if I really want to know, I know words man. right now. Gotta try. Gotta try. Just gotta try, man. Genuinely just felt like someone, like it sounded like someone just ran downstairs. I'm not even kidding you. Did someone just run into the basement? Yo. Almost just like 
it's trying to keep its distance from us. Now we come here, something runs into the basement. All right, bringing this camera upstairs, filming Sally's room. All right, music box is set up in Sally's room with a camera on it. Okay, I'm shutting the basement door. Okay, it's shut. This is so weird. This is so bizarre. So we took the camera out of the kitchen. The REM pod is- <gasps> oh, It's going off right now. Do you see it, Al? I see the flashing. <gasps> Dude, I'm telling you, I heard somebody in there. And that was not temperature. No, it wasn't no, the temperature. Was flashing light. Something went up and touched it. As I was saying, it's still in the kitchen. What the heck, dude? Can you come over here? Can you walk into... <gasps> when Just went off. <laughs> It stopped. Okay. Weird. So we definitely know that there's something here. And now let's, I think it's smart to ask questions, try to get some verbal answers, and we'll just whip out the PS device, start asking questions. All right. Well, the PS device, if there is somebody here with us that wants to communicate, you can use this device to pick a word. Sally, are you the only one here? Rempod again. <laughs> What's going on in there? I don't know. We had a camera in there so long and it was not go- Dude, and as you pulled the camera away, it just went off again. Like when we were upstairs, it was just temperature going off. It wasn't actual REM, electromagnetic. Room. 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 Is Are that you... the room? The kitchen? Sally, there's a lot of people who come here who don't actually believe you're still here. Can you do something significant tonight to let us know that it is you, Sally, and not something else? Alcohol. Yo. Alcohol! A bottle of alcohol. rubbing alcohol Wait, right that next thing to is, it. I want to say this little vial. It rubbing says alcohol. rubbing alcohol, doesn't it? Isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Wait, you said something. I say, can you do something significant to let us know it's you? And it said alcohol. And it says isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Right on the table next to her, like memoriam. The people who don't believe it's actually Sally, they believe it's trying to trick you into thinking it's Sally. I mean, but then that could be a trick right there as well still. I really don't know. But that was interesting. That's wild. Can you do something significant? <sighs> Sally. Oh, what? right as you said Sally, dude. Dude, every time I turn the camera towards it, it stops. It stops. Oh, what? right there it's again, like that. bro. Can you come into this room? Can you walk in here? No. 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 Can you come into this room? No. Why not? Why don't you want to be in this room? Lock. Lock? lock? Yes. Lock. Why not lock? Is she like locked in that space? What? Like she's like stuck there? Dude! As it went it off. Just went off. Dude. <sighs> Sally, what happened to you in that kitchen? Died. 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 What happened to you in the kitchen? It said died. died. Yo. Okay, maybe she's actually like locked there. 
Like maybe, man, I don't want to like fall for the like trick of totally being convinced that this is her, but like everything that we're getting sounds like her. If it's Sally, she's being so direct. Mm -hmm. Can you come into this room? Turn on the TV, turn on the radio? We've heard you could do it before. How did you get here? How did you end up in this house? Do you know why there's a pentagram in the basement? Who put that pentagram in the basement? Who, who drew that on there? Someone. 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 Yeah, how's that Someone. going on? That was a creepy response. It's really fast too. No. Do you know if that pentagram is responsible for what's haunting here today? Chant. Chant. Chant, like a ritual chant? <laughs> the frick is going on here? Is there one person here or are there multiple people or multiple entities? here. Wait. Wait. Is there one spirit here or multiple? Four. Four? Four? That's weird. A direct answer with a, with a number. Four spirits here. Who would be the four? I mean, so you have Sally. I mean, the doctor who built this, who lived here, you had other families who lived here. I'm sure other people might have passed in this house. Mm -hmm. Are you all good spirits? Are you positive spirits? Oh, that. Whoa. Dude, what? Whoa. It's going crazy right now. Jesus. See the. so weird that like all of the activity or most of the activity that we've been getting has been in the kitchen that is near the door to the basement which has the pentagram. Mm -hmm. We've had a music box up in Sally's room this entire time and it hasn't gone off. Why is it that one of the last families who lived here would find stuffed animals in a, a perfect circle? Dude! That was a loud knock. Hello? The door's still shut. Okay, that's good. Dude, that was so loud. That was really loud. I felt like the door opened. Like it, it honestly, oh, it it like literally, the door? like that. Oh. Dude, wait. Jeez. Dude. Oh. That's what it sounded like. Oh. Let me hear it from over here. I think it was the door. Like it opened and then it closed? Yeah. Wait, let me hear it from right here. Okay, ready? Yeah. Open. I mean, yeah, that's pretty damn similar to what we just heard. It was a little less than that, but it sounded very similar. Let me, yeah, let me do it lighter. Yeah. Stuffed animals in a, a perfect circle. Dude! A perfect circle. Dude! Dude, I think something came in up from the basement, opened it and shut it. Yeah, like it know. literally makes no noise when you open it. Poltergeist. 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 We're literally just talking about that. Dude. We got, literally just talked about poltergeist activity. As we're talking about the, the stuffed animals in a circle. Yep. As we possibly. Look. 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 Look where? We were talking about the basement the whole entire time. Do you want us to go into the basement?
It's leading us to the basement, but I don't like that. No. I don't want to follow its doctor. rules. Doctor! Doctor! doctor. It's a doctor. Okay. Okay, so, okay, so are we talking to the doctor? Is the doctor actually here? I mean, we got four earlier, so maybe the doctor, Sally, like maybe that's one of the other spirits is the doctor. Look. Look. Something's like telling us. It's it's a a look? That's the second time it's told us to look. Where do we look? Do you want us to look somewhere specific? Can you make the music box go off if you want us to go up? And can you make the REM pod go off if you want us to go down? Just went off. REM pod's going off. It's the REM pod. Yeah! What? Wait, TV turned on! What? 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 The, TV the TV turned, turned on. on. The TV turned on! Oh, the TV turned on! No the TV's on! No way! <laughs> the TV turned on by itself. I heard the, like, the, the noise. No. What? Like, We're I'm literally going. contemplating going into the basement. Let me turn it off. Let's find the clicker. Where is it? Which one is it? There's like three. It's not that. This one's to the DVD. It's that one? It's that one. It's this one. Okay. Hell is under the TV. No Shit. way, dude. Put in this back. Like I could hear the TV turning on before you could see it turning on. Like that high frequency, mm -hmm. just like old TV noise. I mean, that's like one of the closest things to like a poltergeist activity that we've had so far. Yeah, and it did just say poltergeist right before all that. Exactly. I know earlier we asked it to turn the TV on and the radio on. What? Body. Body? Body. Shut that back off. See if yeah, it turns back on. Jeez. Nice. Oh, okay, it's off. Holy cow. That's like one of those things where like you only hear that through scary stories and like scary movies. This is giving me really creepy flashbacks to our house growing up. Like we had that happen. Can you turn the TV back on? Can you do that while we're watching? Why did you just turn the TV on? Wicked. 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 Something that's wicked? Something that's evil? I swear to God, I saw something stand like a black shadow standing in the corner. I'm not kidding. What side of the room? It could have just been my eyes playing tricks on me, but I saw something standing right here about this tall. Dude. Just standing right here. What? It could have been Sally. That's a child. A child's height. Her. 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 God, no dude. way. Listen. Find. Find. Find? We need to find Sally? Where should we go? I think you saw Sally. What if she was saying, like, you just found me? Like, find. He found me. Six years. Six years? How old was she? How old was she? Wasn't she like five or six? Yes. It just said six years. Six years. Six years. How old was she? We need to- Hold on, hold on. What, what does the packet say? I forget. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like at a loss. Like my head's going crazy. So I can't really remember right now. If she's six years old, that's wild. No way. Why does it say six? Despite his efforts to calm and comfort Sally, it soon became apparent that the innocent and unsuspecting six-year-old girl no. was in fact dead. Boy, dude, it said six, six years. Right as we're saying that, we think we saw Sally standing in this corner. And it's falling off. Are we right, Sally? Oh my goodness. Dude. Are you here with us right now? Dude. It's going <laughs> off like crazy. It's never done that. Can you step away, Sally? Step away from the REM pod. 
What? Yeah, dude. What if it's not her? That's the thing I'm creeped out about. Why is this still, Why is going, this still off? going off? What is happening? Bro. <sighs> Try opening the basement door. I don't know why, I just have a feeling like, open the door. You wanna go down to the basement? If you're not Sally, tell us who you are. Jeez. I wanna turn it off, just reset it. And there's nothing on this table that would that would interfere with that field. Okay, I'm gonna turn it back on. So we know it's not broken. No. Sally's! What? Sally's! No! No! Uh -uh. Sally's. Sally's! No way! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening? This is the most insane night we've ever had, dude. Oh what is happening? Goodness. It said the word Sally's. I've never heard this say. Dude, and it's it spelled the same. It spelled the it's same. It spelled the same. I can't believe that. I the I sequence of that. events there, like, come on. Come on. This is mind blowing. Come on. If this is Sally, she's being so obvious. Like, almost too obvious. That's way, way, way too on the nose to actually be. Sally, a six-year-old girl. Yeah. Like, knowing how to manipulate everything, like, that does not seem like the intelligence of a six-year-old kid. Whether it is Sally or not, something has definitely caught our attention and has us thinking that we are talking to Sally. I actually can't believe this. Part of me feels like we need to go in the basement at some point. Yeah, yeah. I mean- It's the only spot we haven't been to. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> My headache is back to. All right, we are gonna go into the basement. This is where there is a stain from where the pentagram was. I don't like anything about this. Oh. What was that beep? What was that beep? What? What? Is that up there? No. That was down here. Not the REM pod. What? What? Not the REM pod. That was down here, dude. Down here? Something just beeped. What is it? Something's beeping down here. Dude, what? Dude! What is happening? What is that beep? What is it? Is it this? It must be. Okay. So turning that off. I don't, I don't know. Um, we're in the basement. And like I said, there's a stain on the ground. That's the stain that I was referring to this whole time. That is where the pentagram was. You can still see found. some markings, I think. Oh yeah, there are. Right here on the edge, like you can see some sort of symbol right there. This is the original foundation. Yeah, this is the original foundation of the of the Sally house. And this is it right here. Yo, someone show how dark it is. Yeah, so it looks nice and bright right now because we're shooting in night vision, but this is how dark it is. It's absolutely nothing. No. Nothing. I can't see anything. <laughs> it's so dark. I'm gonna step on the pentagram. I know. Like I can't even see where it is. It seems like you wanted us down here. Now that we're down here, can you do something for us? Show yourself. We had a bunch of activity in the kitchen when we were talking about Sally. And it seemed like you were trying to get us down into the basement. Just for viewers to know too, we have a camera. The camera on the second floor is still recording. The camera in the kitchen is still recording. So we do have a camera on every floor right now. Sally, was that you? 
talking to us in the kitchen? Was that really you? I don't know why you'd want us to come down here. Oh, dude, there's a huge hole over here. Really? Look at this. Giant ass hole in this. Oh my gosh. Heck no. What's in it? Frig that. Wow. I don't know. Oh. Yo, what? A lot of dust. What is it? What do you see? It's like a lot of plants and just old stone like foundation. Dude, what happened? You something touched my butt. What? Like you weren't even close to that wall. Something touched your butt? Dude. Something just grabbed her. Like under my butt cheek. I'm dead serious. I'm not kidding you. What I the promise. Like unless if my like jeans moved a weird way. Dude. What? I'm dead serious. There's nothing over here. You weren't even close to that wall. That's weird. Yo. Okay. Okay, I, so you got seriously. She got touched. Wait, what? Like the only thing I can think of it was like my jeans like had a ripple and it like like unrippled. I don't know. That's just, weird. I don't know. Like you were just standing there and all of a sudden you just turned around. Don't like, freak out, but holy oh, fuck, shit! What? Was, is that real? No, Dakota. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> it scared me. I don't think it is. No, it's not. Okay, thank God. <sighs> I don't like it down here. All right, what do you want to do, Tanner? I honestly think like that we should ask questions, do a digital recorder session, see what we get. Okay, I'll whip out the digital recorder. <coughs> this is a device that picks up frequencies our ears cannot hear, so it's believed it picks up spirit voices. I'm gonna record on this, set it on the ground, right in the center of the pentagram. All right, digital recorder is recording. I've heard there's an evil presence in this house. Do you have a name? Do you know where this pentagram came from? We thought we were just talking to Sally in the kitchen. Is this really you, Sally? Who is responsible for all the people getting scratched and hurt in this house? Are you a demon? Why did you or someone turn on the TV upstairs? demon in the loudest yell. That was terrifying. It didn't even say anything. It was more of like a screech or a growl. That sounded demonic. Okay, I'm freaked out. That's terrifying. I'm uncomfortable. Play that again. Yeah. Are you a demon? Dude. That's terrifying. That's just a growl. That's just a scream. Are you a demon? And then the most aggressive scream. Why did you or someone turn on the TV upstairs?
Okay. Some creepy. Oh, that is, that is creepy. Really creepy. Just the scream. Just that guttural screech. We asked questions for like 15 minutes, played that back. The only conclusive thing there was the scream after the demon question. Like, didn't sound like a girl, a six-year-old girl. Oh. Mm. This thing here tries to manipulate you psychologically, mentally. And like, what better way to do that than to make you think it's a little girl. You kind of lose your guard at that point. You open yourself up more than you would thinking it's a demon. Especially with the story behind that. Mm. Like, you already go into it feeling bad for Sally, the way she passed away. If you were like an entity though, demonic or not, and you were here, and now you have a house that is actually like so focused on this girl, I can see there would be like this rivalry. What if Sally's spirit actually never was here? She passed away in this house, right. but this demonic entity here saw that period of time mm -hmm. and goes, this is going to deceive everyone. We have been lured to the basement and closer and closer to the basement this whole entire night. Yeah, like this true. is this is probably what its whole goal was, its whole entire thing. That that is a good point. Do you hear that? What are you hearing? Just walking, like straight up walking above my head. This is so weird. I don't know if it's like where I'm sitting is like everything's like a, like amplified. Right above us is the living room. Hello? Did we lock the door? Yeah, yeah. There's cameras up there. <gasps> oh, oh my god. That's like running above us. Pitter patter, like a little girl running. What? Nothing seems out of place. It sounded like a little kid running across the floor. <gasps> oh, oh my god. I think we were getting too close to like figuring it out, so it's trying to trick us again, thinking that it's Sally, but this is not Sally. This is way too smart for a girl, a little girl. I think everything we've experienced has not been Sally. Every single thing. I don't think there's a spirit of a little girl here. <sighs> this place is no joke. Uh, what right. should we do? What's um, the plan? We've seen the whole house now. We've been covering it head to toe. I think this is a good time to stop and this is going to be the end of part one at the Sally house and we are going to be getting into part two right away and one of us is going to be put in the basement for a very long time by themselves. Dude, wait, no, no. Oh my gosh. Why? We literally think there's a demon here. I know. Well, to be honest with you, I didn't know that this was gonna be the type of night that we had. Normally, part twos are us separating and sleeping alone. And since we're at a house, I mean, we can't really do that. So someone has to be alone. <laughs> That's actually such a dick move. <laughs> Dude, was probably someone in the basement already after all that. So part two, yeah. someone's just gonna be stuck. Yeah. In the basement. Yeah. No flashlight. No flashlight. Why did you say that, Alex? Because <laughs> we haven't had flashlights all night, I just assumed. No flashlight, put in the basement, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be really not fun. Like, no. Like, no, dude. Bro, whoever it is should have to sit on the pentagram. Oh, that'd be cool. Like in the chair right on top. Alex. Yeah. Alex. Shut the fuck up. Okay. This is not the time. <laughs> Oh, all right, well, please like, comment, subscribe. It goes a long way. Uh, hit the notification bell. Uh, and uh, one of us is going to be very, very upset. Comment below who you think is going to be sent down to the basement because that'll be next week's video. But comment below. Let us know who you think it's going to be. There's also a hidden rubber duck. 
Did you find it? If you did, comment below where you found the hidden rubber duck. Well, let's go shoot part two. Let's go, do let's this. go right in. We got six more hours till the sun comes up. Well, oh my god! Let's just get this over with. Dude, what?